guys, welcome back to my tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro CS5. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove a green screen, a blue screen, or any other kind of screen. So in the effects panel, we have keying, and I selected chroma key, and I can bring that into my video. Now the reason why I'm selecting chroma key, a lot of people on YouTube are using a green screen, and the chroma key is a good way to remove a green screen. Um, from my tutorial, I improvised with what I had in my home and I had a blue blanket and I don't have a green screen here so I'm going to show you how I did it after but I take the eyedropper and I select the color and then we're just going to increase the similarity now when I try doing this as you see it takes away some pixels from myself which I don't want so I'm going to come over here it says blue screen I'm going to bring this onto my video and you see that it lightens up the background but since I used a blanket and there was wrinkles in it um, it kind of made this a lot more difficult than it had to be and you see that there's creases in the background so to get rid of that um, I went to the ultra key bring that out to the video again I can select the color you see the amount of keyframes that I had to use to just get what I wanted it was a lot um, right over here these are the keyframes it was a lot of work just to get rid of that blanket I'm not saying that you shouldn't use you know like I said in the other video it's a it's worth the effort if you have the uh, materials at home I would recommend using a flat surface you'll have an easier time and the reason why people use a green screen is because it's a unique color that you're typically not going to be wearing so it's easier to remove uh, with a dark blue it was kind of hard because my hair is dark so there were some difficulties uh, working with this method of a blue screen, but I would also recommend rotoscoping. I'm going to put a link for the rotoscoping tutorial in After Effects. It's much quicker, but if you want to do this at home and you're creative, it is a good way of going about doing this. Um, Premiere Pro is a great program. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Cheers.